Hello, Divination, and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add sticky sidebar call to actions to a blog post template in Divi. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so first things first, for this tutorial, we need to download this layout pack. Now, this layout pack is absolutely free, and this is called the Theme Builder Pack for Divi. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to scroll down here and show you where the files are. In fact, this is a you know, slight preview of what uh, the post will look like. So if I scroll down here, you can see it uses Divi 4.0. And once installed, we can go ahead and work on our tutorial. So what I've done ahead of time is I've gone ahead and downloaded it. And in fact, to download it, you just need to come over here to get it for free today. So once you click on that, you click here where it says download the uh, theme builder pack. And there's also a video here to show you how to install the theme builder pack. So as I mentioned, I went ahead and I downloaded the files. So let me show you now how to install it. So to install it, you want to come over here to Divi Theme Builder. Next, you want to come over here to Portability and click Import. And now I'm going to go and find the files that I've just downloaded. So when you unzip this uh, Theme Builder pack, you're going to get several files. So in our case here, I don't need to install everything. I just need the post template. So this is what we're going to drag over here and click on import theme builder templates. And then I'm just going to import it. So this now is going to transform my blog posts. So now I'm going to go ahead and save. And if I go now to all posts, in fact, let me open this in a new tab. And if I take a quick look here on post six, you can see here that the layout has been transformed. So pretty much that's what we need to do with um, this layout pack. So now that this is installed, the next step now is to install the sticky sidebar call to action template and it's also absolutely free. Now I'll leave the link to both these resources in the video description below. Okay, so when you get to uh, the posts, you are going to see something that looks like this. So this is uh, pretty much the blog post. So over here is where you would click to download the file. So once you click on that, it will download onto your local computer and then you want to open the files. Okay, so now we're just gonna switch over here to our site and install the template. Okay, so to ins install it, I'm just gonna hit import and then I'm just gonna drag this over here, import templates. Okay, so I'm just gonna hit save changes for now. Okay, so with that installed, what we're going to do now is to take a look here at our blog page. I'm going to uh, reset this, I mean, refresh the page. And now if I scroll down, you are going to notice that we have our sticky call to actions there on the side. And here's another one coming up as I am scrolling. All right, so now let's go in and customize this and show you how you can use this in your own designs. Okay, so back over here now. Okay, so let me show you where those sticky items are. So if I click here on custom body, this is gonna open up our builder and uh, we need to go to the post content, which is right here. So the first thing you wanna do is to come over here to the row settings. So in here, we can go into column one. So let me just scroll down here so we can see where our items are. So you can see this is where it is. So what you can do here is to go in and customize all this if you need to so where that is so let me show you how you would customize this so i'm going to click here on this gear icon and this is going to take me into my call to action settings so over here is where you'd add your url to where you want this to link to and uh, you can allow this to open in the same window or you can open in a new tab I'd really like opening this in a new tab, so I'm gonna select that. Uh, of course, you can use the module link URL, but of course you don't need to do that because you have the button already. So let's say you want to customize this button, so you can just click here and this will take you to the button. So it's important that you go ahead and change the uh, background colors of your buttons because this is how you'd match your branding with this template that we've just added. So let's say you also want to add your text over here. So you can come over here to content, click on text, and this is where you would customize your text. And this, if this is a bit too much for you, you can go in here and uh, change the design and uh, customize the text to whatever size you want. Now, what, well, what else you can do here is to go to the background and over here you can add 
a background color just like that and this will pretty much stand out if you have white on your background so this would be an option that you could go with but i highly recommend that you use colors that match with your branding okay so i'm just going to bring it back to how it was and the same thing also applies over here to the right so you can come over here and uh, go in and make your changes to your text your button and also even adding a background color by coming over here and you can see there it's easy to add your background color all right so pretty much this is how you go in and customize this and this uh, comes through in the template which i will both link to in the show notes below all right so let's save this and do a quick preview and see what this looks like so i'm going to hit save and i'm just going to close out of here and click on save all changes now the beauty with this is this will work on pretty much all your posts so even if you add new ones or you have existing ones this will always show so as you can see as i'm scrolling here and uh, this will stick and then when i get all the way down here it pretty much goes off the screen so let's try and uh, take a look at a different post so i'm going to click here on all posts just to show you that this works pretty much on Okay, so this is another one. So if, I'm, if I start scrolling here, you can see here on the left it's showing. And in a moment, you're going to see another one coming on the right. And this one here on the left is staying on the screen. And then they both go off. 